remember your right and wrong is based in your feelings so what feels very good to you in not in your egoic um urge based craving based addiction based mind but in your heart what feels good is the right okay and what does feels disempowering is the wrong and so you're going to have a very different view of what is right and wrong uh, than let's say your your husband will have and that is okay so when you go to key and you turn it over to god and you felt good well that was your truth and that is your truth and that is exactly what you uh would be the best option for you in that moment is because you do not have a solution yet and and so the solution is given to your higher mind or your higher self or god or whatever you want to call it and that is because that perspective is in a higher place and you are using your i am affirmations to connect to the tree of life and when you do that it will be a short time and you will practice this and practice this you have to kind of stand in the fire and you have to stand in your authority and and you say i am the authority of this and i say that it feels very good to turn this over and it is not that i am not being responsible it is that i am being responsible as i am responding to my highest joy and my highest joy is is, is that i am love that i am joy that i am prosperity and and again we said this earlier in the other class or or at least the channel did is that your greatest uh your greatest fear and your greatest trigger is going to be hidden in your theme so your theme is prosperity and so when people point out that you are not prosperous it is going to be like a slap in your little child's face so you will notice that you're going to uh lower your vibration when someone reminds you that you are not prosperous and so if you would all think about your theme for a moment and think to yourself oh i am freedom i am joy i am love and when when my ego uses love against me or uses money against me or uses freedom against me that is when i feel disempowered and so when you feel disempowered uh, that is your wrong and when you feel empowered that is your right and so the commandments are based on what is right and wrong through the god spark within your heart so your heart is your right and wrong guys it is not your mind It is not the law. It is not the rules that you follow. It is what is in your heart. And so what is in your heart might be different than what is someone else's heart because in 5D reality in the in the Christ consciousness or in the new earth that you are all migrating towards so quickly is you get to choose your own adventure. So you will self-govern. You will be a common wealth, which means that you are allowed to have your own authority belief systems of of what is right and wrong when you think of the idea of your own economic system now you might be a little bit far away from having that physical experience but if you can feel good into what is true and what is right is is that this is not your war this is this is not your battle you do not have to go up against the hive mind you just need to redirect reappoint yourself to the to the higher mind and to the god mind where god is a uh, saying not only do you have no debt uh but but you are prosperous beyond belief and so if you say i deny debt and i rebuke all debts and all my debts have been paid through my reconnection of source energy and then if you uh you were uh, unable to experience the third session but the third session we really talk about the idea of the it's called the lazarus effect and lazarus uh the idea of come forth which means that you are declaring and commanding that that what you decide to be is true. Jesus decided that Lazarus was not dead because there's no way that he could have resurrected a uh, decomposing body after 4 days. And so what he did was he quantum leaped. He went into another timeline where where Lazarus was not dead. So when you say come forth, when you say uh prosperity come forth and you demand it with all of the authority of the god spark within you uh, when you are connected to the tree you will feel very powerful doing this when you feel disempowered because you feel small and you feel that you uh have to be uh humble and and you have to make up a story or you have to tell your husband what he wants to hear this makes you feel very bad and so you understand that your ego will continue to channel through your husband until you take this particular right and wrong away from uh from the inner child and say uh the inner child you are you are safe to feel right about turning this over it does not mean that you uh, have not um uh, uh asked for forgiveness for for acquiring debt but you are all 
enticed into debt, especially those of you who have prosperity and freedom、uh, themes, because、uh, debt is a way to trap you. It is a way to、uh, to make you、uh, your prosperity shrink, and and it is something that your ego gets excited about putting you into debt, and it gets excited about、uh, getting you into these commitments where you are slowly leaked and drained. But when you know better, then you can do better. So it does not mean that you need to hold on to the mistake you made, or the、um, even the the、uh, it's not a mistake at all. It was、uh, just、uh, something that an experience that you had, and you realize that money doesn't truly exist. And so if you think to yourself, I'm I'm holding my self concept down because of this debt, then you are allowing debt. To、uh, to have power over your prosperity, and and so what we would say is this idea of right and wrong is just reminding yourself. You know, you're going to have to debate your ego and remind your ego who your I am is.、Uh, and we would say that if you are not going to do the third session and you are not going to do the inner child workshop, we would recommend listening to the、uh, Saint Germain disclosures several times, no less than seven times, and you will start to begin to see that through your I am. Affirmations and your commandments that you—it is your ten commandments—and you do not want to lie to yourself. So we want to say this to all of you: when you lie to yourself, you are breaking God's commandment. When you lie to someone in the matrix about something that they would not be able to understand in this moment, it is meaningless.、Uh, many of the times that you will not say something through a form of omission, then it is more about just protecting their belief systems because having their belief system crumble,、uh, they might not be ready to awaken in this moment, and you might be empathically feeling this. There is going to be many of your spouses and partners that will choose not to awaken in the 3D consciousness. But you will notice that they are very much uh, uh, aligned in the 5D consciousness. They are allowing.、Uh, they don't even.、Uh, they don't even speak of debt. They don't speak of any lack or loss. So when you decide that you are no longer going to allow this debt to、uh, be the dark cloud over your inner child, you want to find a way to play with the debt. Turn it into something. Be the alchemist. This is your lead. How will you turn this into gold? Well, you say there's nothing I can do about. It. Well, that is not true. You have magical powers. So, what would you like to do with it? What What would your highest excitement be to do with the debt? Would it be to pay it off, to make it invisible, to erase it? What would you do if this was just a game and you were a child? You do not have to answer in this now moment, but we want you to ponder this. If you could make up a way that felt the highest level of love and the highest level of excitement for your inner child, and we said, okay, you have. All the magic in the world. What do you want to do with this idea of debt?、Uh, does it feel the best to pay it off? And are you paying it off because this is what will make your husband proud, or are you paying it off because you truly feel that you owe the matrix something? This is up to you, my dear. What is in your heart? But if you say, "Well, they just print the money and they took my birth certificate money anyways, and so I don't really feel bad about this debt, and they've already been paid twice on it, so I would really just like to take an eraser and erase it." Then we would say, "Let us do that together, and we will both see it happen. And when two or more are witnessing it, then then it has to be. It has to be a miracle. And so you really want to look and examine. If sometimes when you are not taking action or finding solution, is because you are a deer stuck in the headlights of fear that you are not allowing yourself to see. You're more caught up in the right and wrong element than you are in the the、uh, elimination of the、uh, solution. The reason you cannot find the solution is because of the right." And wrong. You do not know what the right solution is, and so what you have been doing is turning it over, and that is your best.、Uh, that is your best gain in that moment because you do not have the solution. But we would say to to play. You will not be able to continue to turn things over at, that、uh, still bother your self concept. If they lower your self concept, then you have to do something to change your self concept about them. You want to change the self concept about the way. You see yourself with debt. See, it's not the debt. This is what we teach in the Lazarus Effect session. Is we say it's not the debt. It's how the debt makes you feel about you that speaks to law of attraction. Law of attraction is listening to how you feel about you, not the debt. It does not see the debt. It does not see your husband. It sees that when your husband says something, how do you feel about you? What do you see in the mirror in that moment? 
you say, oh, I'm small, I, 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 I'm prosperity, I'm prosperity, how come I cannot pay this simple bill? And we say it is because you are caught up in the third dimensional right or wrong game. And we say when you act as Moses and you part the Red Seas and you start playing in the alchemy energy of, do I really feel bad about this or do I want to be respected? Do I want to be admired? These are some very deep soul questions that you want to ask yourself. But if we were going to ask the inner child who knew that they were God and that this was all just a game and a playground, uh, some children say, well, I would really like to clean up after myself because that was what makes my spirit feel the best. And some children would say, I would like to erase it. And that's what my spirit feels the best. You see, there is no right or wrong. Whether you erase the debt or you uh, pay it back or uh, you uh, make up something else amazing with it, it does not matter. But whatever you decide to do with it, you must hold form with it and you must call it forth and you must say, this is the way it is and I have quantum leaped and there is no other story. And if the bills come up in the mail after that and you've erased it, well, then you throw them in the trash. And again, that is going to be to see if you can hold yourself concept. Now, some of you are saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe she said that. But you're saying you make this all up. And, and really the only thing that law of attraction is holding you accountable to, my dear, is the way you see yourself in the story. So if you change yourself in the story, the story must change. And as soon as you are not feeling the slightest bit of unsurety about who you are with this debt, your husband will never say anything again.